Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is what I picked up so far during the Sephora Spring Savings event that is currently happening right now. This is my preliminary purchase. I may go back and get a few more items. There are some things I am eyeing that are out of stock. I will tell you guys about them in just a bit. But for now, I have picked up some staple items, things I knew I would want to get my discount on. And then I've also gotten some new releases that I look forward to testing out. If you're unfamiliar with the Sale or the way it is structured. It is pretty much the same every single time and it is offered a few times a year. 10% off if you are a beauty insider, 15% off if you are a VIB member, and then 20% off for Rouge members who also get first access. If you enjoy this video while you're watching, please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and see what I got. So the advantage of posting this before the sale ends, I used to just wait till the sale was over and show everything in case I did go back and get more items. But I'm doing this now because I wanna show you the things that I've really wanted and that were like my first thought. But then also in doing this early, I get to ask you guys for suggestions. If there's anything you think I should check out, do let me know. Or these out of stock items that I'm about to mention, are they worth it? I wanna know in the comments. The first one being the Melt Cream Blush. Blushes. These look so gorgeous. I'm going to put some pictures over here of the items I'm wanting. I specifically want this one in the golden hour shade and that has been out of stock during this whole sale. I think at the moment all of them are gone. A couple of them have come back but this one has not yet and I've heard such good things about these cream blushes. I definitely want to check them out. The other thing I'm wanting is some skincare from the brand Topicals. I heard about them first through Instagram. They came up through an Ad, but then over on Sephora, the reviews are really good. The Faded, the Dark Spot Serum is what I'm looking at particularly, but the Like Butter Mask also sounds really nice because I do have dry, dehydrated skin. And I also just love the packaging. I'm a sucker for cute packaging. The next item was not on my radar at all, and I don't know if I really need it, but Jay Kissa had posted to her Instagram stories, I believe it was just recommendations during the sale, and it was for the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I've been wanting to try more from this brand. I did pick a one item up from them that I'll be showing in a bit, but I'm trying to decide if I really need that one. That one is not out of stock. The Melt Cream Blushes as well as the topical products are currently. I forgot to mention that. The the last thing that I am considering, it has been on the sale page forever, and that is from Natasha Denona. It's the Diamond and Glow Blush and Highlighter Palette. I've had this on my wish list for a while, and I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. I think it's something like $44 on sale, and then I would assume that you would get the discount stacked on top of it. If so, that seems like such a steal. So let me know if you have experience with that product. The reviews are stellar on that one, and I just see a lot of YouTubers also talking talk about it, so I think I may need it. I haven't decided yet. Let's go ahead and see what I actually picked up. The first thing I picked up is from Good Die Young. This is their hair lightening kit. It has two products inside. There is a cream developer as well as the hair lightener, which is in the form of a powder. You mix it together until it's smooth and apply it to your roots or all over, depending on what you're doing. I, in quarantine, decided to get experimental and started to lighten my own hair. I had before that colored my hair, but I had never actually put bleach to it. And I'm sure like many of you, I was struggling and had to get rid of my roots during quarantine. So I got brave and purchased this set and I am still purchasing it. The only other thing I have tried is from Arctic Fox, their Bleach Please. That one is a 35 volume where this one is a 25, more gentle on the hair. The 35 volume from Arctic Fox, that one, when I used it, I saw a little bit more hair in my tub than I wanted to when I rinsed it out. I definitely had more breakage where this has been fairly gentle and it's very easy to use. I've yet to venture into a Cosmoprof, which I would like to eventually. I do have a license as a licensed esthetician and I want to go in there and see what I can pick up, but I've just been scared to get anything that is for professional use. So for now, I will stick to this kit. I do always buy two when I pick it up because I don't want something to happen where it spills or where I run out and am left with half of my hair done. So I always get two just in case. 
I kind of forgot to show these first. I did get two samples. I don't know if anyone cares, but the Hum, the Hair Sweet Hair, these are the hair vitamins. I used to buy Hums like actual vitamins, not gummies. I had a few different ones when they first came into the market, but I haven't gotten them in a long time. But I look forward to giving this a try. And then I also got, of course, I saw this and had to get it. This is the Rare Beauty Blush and Glow. It has two, it looks like luminizers or highlighters, and then also has two of the blushes. I know everyone has been loving these. I've heard such great reviews about them, but I just, I probably would have picked it up if it wasn't for that melt one. I just, I really want the melt one. So maybe eventually I'll give this sample a try and see if I like it. And then moving to skincare, I think I'm gonna save the makeup to the end because I'm gonna do some swatches. Uh, but the only thing I've picked up in the skincare category is from Herbivore. This is the Phoenix Facial Oil, Rose Hip and C Buckthorn Deep Renewal Facial Oil. If you've been here for a minute or have seen any of my skincare videos, I am obsessed with this oil. I've been using it for years and it is one of the only skincare items that I continually repurchase. Because of the price point, I think it's $88. I know that hurts to say, but because of that, I always get it during the sale. It does last me a long time. I only need a couple of drops. You guys will be seeing it in my next empties video. I had it in my last skincare project pan and I did eventually use it up. I want to open it up though, just because this outside box is different from the last time that I purchased it. So I want to see if this looks different. It doesn't. It looks exactly the same, but isn't it pretty? It looks so pretty on the counter. I do usually keep this in my skincare fridge, but it just makes me happy whenever I look at it. I love facial oils and I've tried so many of them, but this one is one that I always come back to. Actually, I don't even have to come back to it because I always have it on hand, uh, but this is one of the only ones that I really feel in the morning that it has made a difference in my skin. It always just gives me the healthiest glow in the morning and then also makes my skin feel very smooth. I don't see myself ever really being without that one. I decided to treat myself because it's been a while since I've had a full size of this, the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I have a bunch of creams and moisturizers open, so I'm not going to open this up today because I've had it before, I know what it smells like, and I know what the performance is like. This is not something that I would use every day because of the price point. I think it's 45. I'll probably put little banners up here so I have that exact amount. I would not use this every day. This is more for special occasions, especially because of the way it makes the skin look. I always equate it to what uh, a Twilight Vampire looks like. You can't see the shimmer just in natural, normal lighting, but when you get into the sun, it just gives this beautiful shimmer across the skin. Not super obvious, you really have to be in direct sunlight to see it, but it is so beautiful. It's very fine, not huge particles. And on top of that, it really hydrates the skin. This gives me the perfect amount of moisture. I have very dry skin, especially on my legs. And this smell is divine. If you haven't smelled this before, it is caramel and pistachio, which would normally be too sweet for me, but there's something about it I am completely obsessed. I've tried many other Sol de Janeiro products. I have even their foot cream, I think right now. I've tried their lip balm. I had one of the Glow Motions oils. I have one of the body sprays, but this in here, the fragrance and when it is in the body cream is my favorite. It's just the most potent. I could completely skip wearing fragrance if I wanted to. So yes, I'm happy I picked this up, decided to treat myself. They do have a new one. Let me pull up the name because I can't remember it. It's a very pretty coral color. It's the Boom Dia Bright Body Cream. And then this one has fruit AHAs and vitamin C in it. And the scent is described black, amber, plum, vanilla, Vanilla Woods and Jasmine Bloom. I purposely got a sample of that, a deluxe sample. They had an offer code for it. I purposely picked that up before this sale happened in case I really liked it and wanted to get that one instead of the original version. The moisture was the same with that one, but the scent wasn't as strong. And to be honest, I couldn't really smell it. Maybe I'll have to try it again. Maybe it was other things that I had on. I had just gotten out of the bath, but I decided to go with the original for this purchase. And then the makeup I picked up, I really didn't get too much this time around overall. Like I said, this was my first purchase, but these are the things that I was really eyeing. This one, however, it just kind of came up and I was like, oh, that packaging is really cool. It's very cute and I want it. This is the Kosas Airbrow Fluff and Hold Treatment Gel. They also have a clear brow gel, which I'm going to put a picture of because the packaging is A+. It's out of stock or I probably would have ended up getting that one too. This packaging is also very cute and I 
did go ahead and put it in my brows today. This is the medium brown shade that I got. I'm pretty happy with the color. I think it was a really good match for me, but I did throw it in just because I wanted to see what it was like before filming this video. This is the packaging. It's so freaking cute. I love it. That was what initially caught my eye because I don't really need a new brow gel right now. I have a bunch from Milk. I also have one from e.l.f. that I'm currently keeping in rotation, but I figured one more couldn't hurt. It is something that I wear very consistently. This is the wand on here. Pretty similar to other ones. I think the other thing that makes this different, and I, maybe I just haven't noticed in the other brow gels I've used, is that there are two sides to it. There is a shorter, stubbier side and then a longer one to lift. I did put on the NYX brow gel today over at the brow glue, so I don't know how this holds alone. I'll have to test it out by itself and I can let you know how it performs. I really want that clear one to come back in stock too, just so I can have the matching set. And then of course I grabbed two of the Danessa Myricks color fixes. I purchased one a couple of weeks ago just so I could get that Sol de Janeiro balm, by the way. That's why I did it. I was like, I'm sure I can find something that I want. I purchased the Milky Way previously and I do have that on today. So far that one has been great and I'm loving it. So I really wanted to pick up a couple more of these. I don't know what's stopping me from adding them all to my cart because they look gorgeous. Danessa Myricks has one of the most creative Instagram accounts. I love watching the videos on there. Always so inspiring and they just make me so happy to see the beautiful models. Her skill level is like out of this world and she does things that like aren't I don't want to say simple because sometimes she just takes one color and puts it all over the eye, but it's the way she applies it. The skill, it's unmatched. And I'm so happy that her brand came to Sephora. I've been wanting to go onto her website for a while and just stock up and do a haul and try a bunch of things. Eventually I may do that because there are a lot of things on the Janessa Myricks website that are not available at Sephora yet. Maybe they will expand, but they do have quite a variety of these. And like I said, I had a hard time deciding. I think I still have four of them on my wish list because they are ones I was thinking about. Let's start with the matte one I picked up first and that was in the rustic shade. Because I have three of the Smashbox cream shadows, I wanted to pick up something that I didn't already have, a color that I don't already have. And this rustic shade looks so pretty. That's what it looks like outside of the box. And I'm thinking or I'm hoping that that bit of burnt orange will really make my eyes pop. Now the formula I have of the other one, that one is a metallic shade and it came out a lot faster than I thought it was going to the first time I used it. It was a little thin. So let's see about this one. I'm gonna be careful with it. Feels just as thin as the other one. You need so little of these. I literally just used the tiniest drop. It's so pretty. I'm gonna have so much fun playing with that. And there it is a little bit faded. I should also probably pick up the white and black versions. That way I can mix them and make my own colors. When I do the video, I've mentioned this already that I'm gonna be doing a video of a full face of using cream products. These two are probably what I'm going to use. And then the other one I picked up is a foil and this one is the shade Alien. This was originally out of stock when I went to get it. I think I was gonna get this the first time versus Milky Way, but it did come back before the sale. And then this one has a shift to it. You can already tell from the tube, it's so pretty. It's like an orange and pink shift. Lots of gold in there too. Now this one I'm swatching with my left hand, so we'll see how that goes. So pretty. And that is what they both look like up close. And then the last item I picked up is from Natasha Denona, the mini Zendo palette. I know this probably falls into the basic B category for palettes. It is pretty neutral, a little bit of mint in there, a little bit of coral. I've had this on my wish list for so long. I kept telling myself that I don't need it and I still probably don't. But when it comes to other creators that I watch, I've seen this in so many favorites videos for palettes and I'm curious to see what the performance is like. The only other Natasha Asha Denona palette that I have is the mini camel palette. I've yet to splurge on a full one. The gold one is still on my wish list. Every Sephora haul, every Sephora video, I mention the Natasha Denona gold palette. I've been wanting that ever since it launched and I've yet to buy it. It's just so expensive. I can't justify it. 
Maybe eventually I will. So for now, just to satisfy my craving for Natasha Denona shadows, I picked up the mini. Definitely have to swatch this one. It's very pretty. The brown metallic component goes very well with the shadows in there. We have a shimmery brown. And it looks like this has a bit of a shift, like some pinkness in there. Ooh, that's pretty. Pale pink matte shade. Build it up a little more. A mint shimmer that looks more pewtery from the side. Maybe that one has a little bit of a shift too. Next, I would call this like a burnt coral. That one feels a little softer than the other shimmers. And lastly, another matte. All five shades swatched. I also just thought this would be really pretty for spring, and that's another reason why I picked this one up. It'll probably end up in my next Shop My Stash, just to make sure I'm testing it out and trying it. And there we have it. That is everything that I picked up during the sale so far. If I go back and make another purchase, and if I remember, I will put it below in a pinned comment. If you've tried any of the products that I did pick up, do let me know your thoughts on them. Also, I would love to hear about what you purchased during the sale. If you have suggestions, again, leave them below because we have a couple more days for it. If you enjoyed this video while you were watching, please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see me and more of my remarks, please subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you soon.